This yep. man is Ryan Payne, uh, Payne Capital Management President thereof. What do you think? 2% or lower is now the new normal for interest rates? Well, I wrote this week, interest rates are getting crazy. And it's probably <laughs> yeah. not proper English. But they are. <laughs> they are getting crazy. And I think you have to start looking at this as almost irrational exuberance, Stuart. I mean, you mean irrational exuberance of money moving into the Treasury, which puts prices up and yields irrational down. Irrational fear. Bingo. Irra exactly. Irra irrational fear is probably a better way yes. of putting it. Yeah, exactly. Because think about this, right? you got the market up 25% since the end of the year, right? When we had that big plummet on Christmas yep. Eve and half the money has gone into equities that's gone into bond funds this year with yields now at under 2% on the treasury, which is insane. Insane? Insane. Why? Why is it insane? Is it just a reflection of the way the world feels about America yes. and the security of America and the yield? Because you get a yield in America. You put your money into Europe, you don't get a yield. They take your money off you. Yeah, exactly. $13 trillion of negative yields across the world, which is crazy. But I'm thinking along the lines of what if rates start to rise a little bit? Let's just say global economics pick up. We get a deal with China, for instance, right. right? If that happens, that means the 10 year has to go up as well. And that happens, bond prices go down. Now, the last time we saw a big move up in treasury bonds was back, it's about five years ago. When that happened, you saw those treasury bond funds go down by like 20%. That's like equity-like risk. So that worries you? Yes. So don't get into a bond fund is what you're saying? I'm saying bond funds are bad for your health. Bond funds. Financial health. Okay, All right, we got there. Tell me about Bitcoin and gold. Gold's up again today, up about 20 bucks an ounce. Look at that, up 16, 14, 34. Bitcoin's about 11,002, 11,300. What's going on here? Yeah. Is, it, is this a flight to safety, like the money that's flowing into treasuries? Well, I think the, the, the gold play is on the dollar, right? When the dollar goes down, which it has in the last couple of days, which has been a long time, we've seen a strong dollar for a very, very long time, yep. that's usually good for gold. So I think you are seeing a flight to safety when it actually comes to gold. In fact, you saw central banks last year buy the most gold they've had since literally 50 years before. So you're seeing a lot of demand for gold, and I think that has to do with like, hey, look, the dollar's been strong for a long time. We've got a trillion, tr trillion plus, uh, excuse me, trillion dollar tr uh, plus uh, you know, deficit right now, so the U.S. is not in great shape long term. Um, you got to start to hedge your bets. So you wouldn't touch gold? I'd buy gold here, yeah, as a hedge, absolutely. I don't think the dollar can be strong forever, I guess what I'm saying. Would you buy those gold coins? You know, a lot of us grandparents give gold coins <laughs> to the grandkids, that kind of thing. Would you do that? I don't know about those. The market for those isn't great. It's <laughs> a little bit liquid. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, you can bury a gold coin so your estate doesn't pay taxes on it. Do you understand that? Uh, that's that's uh, a very, very good estate planning tool. I'll, I'll take that one <laughs> back yeah. to my planning practice. Is there a practice. treasure map that goes with yes. it? Yes. <laughs> don't right, forget you where you buried it. it. That's what I'm saying. Oh, 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 man. Man. Okay. <laughs> Ryan, we're done. But thank you very much indeed. Thanks, sir. Honest man. All right.